All right, back at it, and uh, back filming with the bloggy again. The uh, memory had filled up last night when I was using it because uh, when I had taken the old video off, I've got a uh, an issue where I have to remember to empty the uh, empty the waste basket on the uh, desktop on the computer because if the bloggy's disconnected before I empty the waste basket, there are ghost files that are left on the uh, memory card and that. Uh, what ends up happening is uh, even though the uh, if you open up the folder it looks like it's empty but if you check the capacity of the bloggy which is normally four gigabytes it's uh, it's all used up anyways enough of that boring computer stuff point is that now we should be able to film with this for a while today uh, which depending on your feelings on the video quality of this particular unit you may not like that but uh, all right so when last we were playing with this thing, we were trying to figure out how to take the apron off. And I was going to try and take the lead screw out, but um, pulling the lead screw out doesn't seem like that's going to be an option without taking apart the, uh, the whole quick change, gear, quick change gear box assembly down there. And that, uh, I, don't think I, I don't think I want to tackle that right now. So... What I noticed was on this side, over here, there is a, uh, let's change this angle here. All right, there's definitely this whole section right here, looks like it's a separate piece, and that appears to be what's attached to the lead screw on this side. So my thinking was if I can get this to stay behind, I might be able to pull the apron off. So the question is, what holds that on? There don't appear to be any screws in the front that I haven't, uh, that I've missed. So, I think what we're looking at now, as far as that goes, I do have what looks like a very large screw right here. Also, there's this nut right here on this shaft, which this shaft is a pivot for this control right here, which I think this control is to change the power feed from from uh, from cross feed to uh, along the carriage here. So, anyways, I'm wondering if taking that nut off might allow that shaft to stay behind with that piece back there. Don't know. And there's also, you know, we got a knob here to, to deal with. So I think for starters, I'm going to take off this handle this nut and this handle and maybe pull that screw and see what that does for me. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this was frick. Actually, it's so loose and practically hand tight. So, taking that off easy enough. And then, of course, this doesn't come off after you take that nut off. Why would it, right? It'd be too easy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Just got to use a little bit of muscles. All right. So now, this, if it needs to, could possibly go right through there and come out. Although, well, we'll see. If that wants to come out, then I'm going to have to pull, I'm going to have to pull these two woodruff keys that are in there. Yeah, pliers to get a hold of those. This one here I loosen up. This is a 7 8 inch nut. And we got this big washer. And then that lets this handle come off. That's also got a little keyway. That could stay behind if it needed to. This one. Well, yeah, I guess we'll grab that one too. Ah. Hmm. There's no. There's no countersunk dimple in the middle of that shaft so I'm not going to be able to uh, 
not going to be able to use a puller. All right. Allen screw on there, so that's not what the problem is. It's just tight. Need something to put in there as a spacer. Something that'll stay put better than that screwdriver. Well, let's see, that uh, Allen wrench seems like almost the perfect size. I can only move it so far and then I the other end of this hits whatever end it's hitting so all right and then there's a uh, key a little tiny woodruff key and a washer this nut. So these, all these little parts here are going to have to get their own little cup. Oh, I said they were going to get their own cup, but I guess this washer nut and this uh, handle with the key in it can go over here too since they're a larger diameter. I won't mix those up. Oh, I said they were going to get their own cup, but I guess this washer nut and this uh, handle with the key in it can go over here too since they're a larger diameter. I won't mix those up. Oh, I guess I'll put this handle in. This handle is the one that was on the outside of the uh, hand wheel here. It's got a thicker collar. And otherwise, they look almost identical. The one over here has got the bigger nut. So, other than the handle, which will fit in this container, it will be obvious to me where that goes, I got all this hardware put away. If I do have to take these keys out, this keyed stock out, these little Woodruff keys, then I'll put them in a little separate pouch and mark them so I remember where they go. Uh, Alright, what this deal is with this screw. I mean, is this even a screw or is this just a plug? To, oh, that's a big old screw. Oh yeah, look at that sucker. Hey, look at that, another one of them holes. It's supposed to probably have oil flowing through it. It's all clogged up. See that sucker? Focus. Yeah. Oh, it just so happens I got this here. Oh, that. That's not a through hole. Oh, the hole at an angle. Look at that. That hole goes in at an angle. Got a lot of oil in it. I wonder if that's hollow all the way through to there. I bet you that's not supposed to be all clogged up with gunk though, like it is. See? Another good reason to take that apart.
This has a number on it. 60. Maybe that means oil every 60 years. Clean every 60 years. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Not sure what that does. Let's, uh... Guess we should take this handle off. It's the only one we haven't taken off yet. That's interesting. I wonder if that was the original intent there at the Hendy Manufacturing to use a cotter pin to hold this on. He thinks not. Ooh, did you guys see that? That just dropped. All right, I just looked behind there, and uh, when I rotated this, the bottom half of the half nut actually dropped way down. There's a mile of room now to take this off of the off of the lead screw by pulling it out this way. If this part over here uh, behaves and stays behind, so. Oh no. I don't know. Doing as I'm dropping out. Oh, oh, that screws a different size. Ah, I don't like that. This screw is longer than this screw. Long screw, long screw, short screw. Three different size screws. Oh, four different, you know what I just did? I just mixed these, I thought these two were the same size. And I just mixed them up and they're not. One is just a hair longer than the other. All four of these screws are different lengths. Oh. Hope I can look back at the video and figure out which one's which. And you know what? Make matters worse, this, this doesn't want to... This doesn't want to separate. I could probably get this side off of the lead screw by just moving the lead screw enough to get the half nut disengaged, but this side over here is not coming apart at all. So, that was a miscalculation on my part as to how this goes together. What the heck. I better get this block under here some more before this falls off. Oh, nope. That's right part that sticks down that won't allow me to stick that in any further. That ain't working. Ah. Carriage actually come off now? I thought this whole carriage would come up and off. And then that would let me see better behind there and maybe figure out whether or not this apron will come off without removing the lead screw first. Yeah, I think so. 